Hi guys, hello, it's Ruth here, Artful Stampin. Welcome to a bit of a special live with my <laughs> hubby. Uh, yeah. Seeing as he was so, you know, enraptured with his last experience, he wanted to come back and make a Mother's Day card. Yeah. So I think I might even commission him to make my mother's, my mother's Mother's Day card. So we're going to be, oh, hi Denise, that was quick. <laughs> Nice to see you. So I've already pre-prepared for him a special ink pad here. And um, yeah, I, I've i already had a go stamping with this, so it's nice and ready for him. Well, stick with us. Uh, so hello if you're watching this on the replay. This is actually a live uh, broadcast, but we're going to keep it on YouTube for you to enjoy. I've made a custom ink pad here using three baby wipes that I folded into half. And I've put Melon Mambo there, Flirty Flamingo there around the Melon Mambo, then Pineapple Punch around the edge. Here we have a sea, uh, soft sea foam with a little bit of pear pizzazz and a little hint of mossy meadow just there. And then here we have some balmy blue with some blueberry bushel. Now, I did do this about three hours ago. So as you can see, the colour has seeped really beautifully. And it is perhaps worth, you know, when you make one of these, leaving it for a little while and keep going back and using it because it kind of gets better with age to be honest it might need a couple of drops just to re-ink it but it, it's you know good to go again you don't you can get quite a few projects out of one go if you want to see a video where i've done this before if you check back on uh, a few weeks ago i did a one one shoot wonder wednesday using this technique so tom has a little sketch that i have sort of done for him just so he knows roughly where he's going that's going to go there and he's going to be using the mainly the stamps from First Frost which is this one here and he's just going to take it away really. So Tom are you ready? Uh, you yeah. Move in closer. Here we go. Okay. Right so there's your your stamp your rose stamp and that's the right way up. I've done my nails. Okay. Okay. You ha you should have done your nails. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm wondering mind. actually that just cutting that out and sticking it on it does look very nice. But um, okay, so I've got the sketch. Yeah. There. Sure it's that way. Yeah, that way around. And so just stamping gets gets hold of some ink, and if you want to try it out, you can always try it out from the. Oh, I don't know what. Try it out on roughly there. So, so do I just press it down? With once? that, because it's a custom ink pad, it's probably worth yeah giving it a few taps, and it okay. has been we'll drying. Try it, for try a while. it out on here. Just press it down. That's right. Like that. Ooh, That's pretty good. That's nice, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to do that again. Here we go. And we're going to tr try that. Lovely. I don't wobble it, do I? No, Just don't wobble it. it. Just okay. press it straight down. I think I remember that from last time. So I'm going to do... Do another one. Do those, yep. Yeah. Here we go. So you can see the variation of colour there. If I, I can zoom in a bit, actually. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Zoe. There we go. One more. Round of applause. One, one there. <laughs> do another one there. Yeah, yeah. we're going to work in threes. I think when you're starting card making, it's good to work in threes because it, it kind of just works. Okay. Lovely. Wow. Very nice. It's a good start. It is a good start. I should stop there. Yeah. Uh, no, okay. let's stop there. Keep um, going. Right, so now we need to put a little bit of foliage in there. Sorry, guys. This, I'm just... this, these bits here. These, yeah, so this is a really pretty kind what of... What do I do with this? Just leave that on the side. Okay. It's fine. So you've got this lovely kind of spriggy thing. Now, I've already pre-torn a piece of paper ready for him. And I've, I've explained to him about the masking off so that you don't get stem going right through your your roses so just pop that in the appropriate place when you need it so you're going to ink up using just this area here so you imagine your stem is going in yeah that's it so tap tap a few times up oh, and yeah, down yeah, that's yeah. it and now you want stems. try that one so this is your central point so imagine all your stems you know radiating from that set that central point there right so remember, it's going off in this angle. Sorry. So it's going off in this angle here. So I want to do something like that. Yeah. It's 
feels like a very advanced technique with this piece of paper. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, now before you re-ink, hmm. you've got um, still got some ink left on there. So what you can do is actually tuck this in a bit closer now, about that area. And because you've masked it off, it'll be fine. So just stamp down there. And that just helps to fill it in a bit. So it doesn't look so sparse in the background. Yeah. Okay. And then the reason why I sort of gave you that is so that next time you stamp, you don't have to have the stem sort of starting from this point here. You can actually oh. tuck tuck it in a little bit more. So like that's that. it. Yeah, that's it. And that's where the masking really does it is useful then. Ah, okay. Clever wow. you. My mum's got it. Hopefully, will be impressed with this. You know. I hope so. You'll have to let her I know that you've ever made her a Mother's Day card. Now, if years. you'd find it easier, we can just turn that around. Yep. Just to make it easier. Now you're getting into okay. the rhythm of right. it. So you could have a stem coming out of there or there. Doesn't really matter. Lovely. Okay. Should I do the same? Yeah, you could do. Just remember to mask it off. So if you do want to watch this video speed it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, with some devices, there's like um, up here in the corner, there's like a little settings thing and you can or, or down down there, depending on your device. And um, yeah, have some more. Something coming out there. Mm. Right. And you can watch this at like 1.25, 1.5, or 1.75 uh, speed, and it just makes everything go a bit faster. So, um... turn this round. That there? Yeah, you've got a big empty space there. Big though. empty space, like that. Well done. You could, you could ink Maybe again. Do it, yeah, and then and get, try and get tuck, that gap filled in. Yeah, tuck it r right in. That's it. Oh, I think I touched it. Doesn't matter. Lovely. There we go. Okay, so we've yeah, still got right. these to use as well. So we've got this lovely thistle design here and I've deliberately put the blue up so that when Tom inks it up, hopefully, remember only the thistle needs to be in the blue. Ah, that, that, you know, uh, okay, yeah. yeah, I remember. It's like that. Yeah. So mm. think about tucking that the stem of it into there. Remember, you can stamp again. So right. try and keep the green bit maybe there, but then maybe have another blue one coming up there. Try ink again. No, just try try doing it again. You just finished your workshop, Esther. Oh, cool. No worries. Like that. Lovely. Wow. Because remember, when things look lighter, they look like they're in the distance. So if you want it to look like a proper bouquet, you do. You don't want everything just to look in the foreground. You want things to look like they're in the distance. In a distance. Something here. I perhaps have it coming out from there. You, you can, yeah, yeah. It, it can overlap. Yeah, you know, with bouquets. You know, when you look at a bouquet, it overlaps. Ugh. Yeah, you pressed a little bit too hard at yeah. that point. But we can cover that up with the. Um, we could maybe put the sentiment over that. That's okay. Fine. But yeah, so just remember not to push too hard because what right. was happening is you, you you obviously got ink there and then yeah. you pushed really hard. So, so just have another go. I think it's because that, it's here. quite narrow there. So it's easy to kind of almost over push. But yeah, so put focus pushing on the flower rather yeah. than the stem. That's it. Yay. Okay. Very pretty. 
Okay. What about we, we just stamp again, but this time, no, no, just, just, just go in there. And yeah, about there. That's it. Very yeah. nice. Thank you. So we also have this um, dotty stamp, which you guys, will, if you follow me on Artful Stamping YouTube pe uh, channel, you know I love this stamp for just getting a few little kind of background bits in there. So you can use that on whatever colour you want, you know, whether or not you want some pink sort of froth or green or greeny blue, it's up to you. And so what, what this does is just creates a really sort of nice element of froth. So you, don't, you can stamp and stamp again and you get this really lo lovely kind of hazy dotty kind of effect. So you can do that in the green or the pink, whatever you want to do. Uh, so I'm just trying to, what is this, to kind yeah, of fill well, space? Yeah, you can sort of start, start it anywhere really and then stamp again somewhere else and see what happens. It's, you can't really go wrong with this stamp. Lovely. Do some here because you've got a bit of a white space there. And then go up here. Mm -hmm. How's that? Lovely. Maybe one up there. Maybe one up there. I remember feeling last time we did this, I felt um, kind of at a loss to where to put things. Mm -hmm. What about now? Uh, no, it's <laughs> still a bit lost. I think it's just it's oh, practice, isn't it? Butterfly. Are we going to do a butterfly? As you practice, you work it out. Yeah. Yeah, right, nice. so I was thinking of stamping the Happy Mother's Day onto a cream bit of card and then cutting a circle out and then putting it, mounting it on a, maybe having a pink border, or maybe having that there. Mm. So then if that's going to go there and hide that boo-boo, maybe a couple of butterflies. I don't know. What do you think? She does like butterflies. Um, yes. So I would do that in the blue. And just put them in there. Yeah. Now make sure you, you do press quite firmly with this one because it's photopolymer as opposed to just rubber. That's it, lovely. What's the Ooh. difference? Well, the, the rubber has a cushion. So sometimes you have to just make sure that it makes contact. Yeah, there's one flying off there. Okay, lovely. Yeah, I think that would work. Okay, so what colour do you want to stamp the Happy Mother's Day in? I mean, we could do it with that lovely yeah, dark pink there. Yeah. Might try that then. If you stamp that onto there, I'll get a punch out ready. Mind you, the card you made for me was a little bit more complicated. So it's lovely because you've got that var variation in colour on there, which is really nice. That mixture. Okay, so do you remember how to use a punch? Yeah. Okay, maybe shall we do it in under there though, so people can see what you're doing. So that goes in there. Mm-hmm. I'll just check that it fits. Yeah, I can see why people might want to fast forward <laughs> through this. Here we go. See why I edit things now. It's better to hold it. Oh yeah, you're right, yeah. So just hold it like that. Do that. Here we go. Deep breath. Whoa. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, so that is going to go there. Okay, what's next? Let's try and find Melon Man before we... So if you take that punch now, 
Open it up. Hmm? Open it up. Open it up. Push that. B. Okay. I didn't know you did that. Dimensionals. Okay. Uh, so they go on that and yeah. put that on. Yeah. Well, it depends how much postage you want to pay. <laughs> right, stick it on before you remove the bucket. Uh, any amount for my mother. Right, put it on there. It's put it on there. Stick. Just in the middle. Just one. No, do two. Don't want it to fall off. One. Two. So we just use the one and a ooh, one and three eighth scallop punch we just used, and and am I sticking that on with? No, probably best to stick that on with glue. Not not too near the edge. That's enough. Move it up into camera, people can't see what you're doing. Right. So there. Right, now you can choose your card base. What colour would you like? Let's move that out the way. Um. Think about the colours you've used already. Uh, I guess. Uh, very red. That's very red. Something very green? Mm, I don't know for Mother's Day. Uh, Pink there. Pink. There we go. I suppose it goes with the. Yeah. That's it. Coordination. You know what stamping up I like? We've got Melon Mambo ink and then we've got the Melon Mambo cardstock as well. Okay, okay. so you just stick that on. And then you've got to make another one for my mother. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll go for a goth look for that one. Um, okay, so I just uh, all the edge. Yeah, but not right, edge. not right at the edge. Not right at the edge. Okay. Vesta says, what mother colours do your mum like? Does your mum does she like quite a lot of red? I think she'll like this card. Oh yeah, she likes pretty things. She likes um, she likes those little um, contained china jars, doesn't she? China jars. You know those little little porcelain boxes. Yeah, she's got a thing she likes about boxes. little things that you, you know little, little you know, not little containers like Tupperware, but uh, she's got a thing for little dainty little boxes. That's her little guilty pleasure, isn't it? Little boxes. Yeah. Trinket boxes. And um, M and Co. M and Co. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is actually. Yeah, whenever yeah, she yeah. visits she us, she go, likes yeah. to go to M and Co. So. Because they do petite. Well, there, we are. there you go. Tom well made done, a card. Everybody. If you're still watching, well done. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. So, what did you Look find easy about that then? Um, what did I find easy? I suppose the whole the whole uh, technical side of it is easy, isn't it? It's not they're not complicated things, you know, stamping, punching, mm -hmm. lining up. I think probably the the most intimidating part is is being on camera. Yeah. <laughs> well, ever your comments are Vicky says very pretty card. Your mum will love it. There we um, go. Denise says. Well done, Tracy says Thank very you. pretty, and yeah. It makes me go. think a little bit, although it's got nothing to do with it, of when I do origami, mm. and just the 
Um, it's a method. I suppose with, with origami, you do a lot and you get the muscle memory, don't you? you yeah. You automatically do the folds. And with mm. this, I feel there's, there's a degree of muscle memory that you have to develop. Yeah. It's time. interesting watching May stamp actually because she's done it so often now. She does the whole, you know, um, she, you know, she gets gets the ink and then she, you know, puts it down and then she gets her other hand and does she and she's able to get the right amount of pressure, and um, it is. It just takes time to figure out, you know, which stamps need a bit more of a push or, you know, so it, yeah, it can be very technical. Am I actually making your mama card? Uh, I can do. There's more. There's more there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right, so what... Um... So do you want to do a slightly different configuration? Yeah. yeah. So we'll do, we'll do the same stamps, okay. but, but maybe what we could do is this time have, have flowers maybe down one edge. So you'd stamp a dark one, then stamp off and do a lighter one somewhere around. And we're just aiming for doing it down the edge okay. there. Let's try and get some more of that yellow on it because there's there is a little bit of yellow on this edge mm. here so it's quite nice to actually get a little hint of the yellow a bit more look that's quite nice there, there we go tom living on the edge <laughs> <laughs> esther says let's see this goth style one now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah maybe maybe after this one uh right so one here mm-hmm And then a second one here. Do you want them overlapping? No, yeah, overlapping, but maybe not right on top. So there we go. Is that lovely? And then another. And then maybe tuck one in there. But going over the edge. Yeah, it's fine. But now, because you went over the edge, if you yep. were to stamp that again, I'll just show you what happens. You have a line. Um, yeah. So if you do go over the edge, it's worth remembering where that line is, and mm. then the next time you stamp, stamp so you don't see that. Okay. Okay. Another one above. Yeah, I'm trying to keep that so people can see you. Sorry. Right, make uh, a chair forward. Okay. Another one above. And yeah. So you've got a nice bit of ink still on there, so you can maybe fill up a gap by stamping one in there. Does it matter that it overlaps? Okay. And then maybe one in that corner? No. Lovely. And then for the ink, I maybe do another one down. Overlapping. Mm -hmm. So now what I would do is re-ink and then do what's called stamp off on onto your scrap paper. And then stamp a second one there so you've got a lighter version. Lovely. Wow. Pretty, eh? Yeah. Right, so then I'm thinking with your with the sprigs, we're just going to have them s coming out from this this way. So ink, and then you may, so sometimes you might need to mask, and sometimes you might not need to. Yeah, all right, let's turn that around so you, you know where you're facing. So you're just going to have these sprigs coming out now. Maybe you can stamp again, you get a lighter version. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. 
go. We're going to go for the Nice work. Can I share my t-shirts designed for Mother's Day gift here? Um, if you'd like to. <laughs> I can't guarantee you'll get some. Yeah. Okay, so there's your... So, do this. Yeah, get a bit of the blue. As long as it's not spam. I've never asked me that. Just then. And where are these going? So remember you've got this like focal point of the blue. So I think it's okay to have them sort of tucked in so you've got some blue there and some blue here and and all that kind so of thing. So I need some mask. Yeah. I think you've got. It's just thinking about having them at different levels that they they're not. You don't want them all going in a straight line across. Hmm. So yeah, have have one tucked in. Down there. We'll put more in in a minute. Don't we? You know, we're just at the beginning of this process. And. Coming out here? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I put more in now, but use the long stem and have them maybe coming out. So you've got a blue one ending around there. terrible at making decisions that's why <laughs> so, making a card okay okay stop then oh. too late went for right. it there so, we go so what you're looking at is where are the gaps yeah okay so you've got when you're because you're using the blue think right so just hone in with your eyes on dot 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 and think right okay you know where are the gaps what needs filling i mean i think you're pretty much done I don't mm. think there's much more needed to be honest but that's what you're looking for you're thinking where where are the gaps where is it obvious now we want a deliberate gap there because that is part of the design we want some air we want some breathing space so that with with your one your breathing breathing space it's kind of around the edges but on this one your breathing space is up here okay but remember your design is supposed to be that way so so do you want to get your Bit of uh, yeah. fluff. This makes me think of um, jelly with sprinkles. Jelly with sprinkles, there yeah. we go. Oh, don't lay that on there. Yeah. Uh, green. green. Mm -hmm. Now, don't be afraid of stamping that over the roses. Okay, It's fine because we want to maybe draw some of the green across here as well as having it here. So it's okay to stamp on the roses. Go for it. And then stamp again. Okay, get more ink. Where now? Where's the gap? Where's there no green? Here. Yep, and? Add a bit here, maybe? Yep. So do I want green in there? Can do. Uh, 
How does that look? Fine. Now I think with this you could probably stamp it directly on about there. Oh, a butterfly. Oh, yeah. We could have, actually, it would be quite nice to have that, but there's some blue butterflies. So maybe we have, so if that goes around there, maybe a couple of butterflies, one there and one there. Hmm, maybe have one there now. Go. Okay, so right. let's put that on. We're going for the, Go for the pink, yeah. yeah. Yeah, get the pink, not the yellow. Oh dear, we've got a bit of a mark there, sorry. Yeah, we'll just go for that mark. <laughs> For your mum. That's my mum. Here we go. I hope they don't compare. I should be like, well, I, mine, <laughs> my sentiment wasn't in a circle. Yeah. Uh. I don't know why you're doing that, no, just because you haven't got mentally a glue on preparing, it. Mentally preparing <laughs> myself to, uh, to aim. <laughs> to get that in the right place. Oh, Ronnie. You can move, once the glue starts flowing, move it a bit faster because you're getting a bit blobby. Oh, this thanks, Denise. She said, great teaching, Ruth. <laughs> she's very good, isn't she? She is very good. There we go. Right, are we going to decorate envelopes? We can't have naked envelopes. As they say. So this is quite a good way to use up your ink. Oh, look, he's so proud. I'll have to take photos and blog about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, so we'll have, so remember the address has obviously got to go, oh actually I better give you stamping up envelopes because the, the, the quality of the ink is so much nicer on the stamping up envelopes. So obviously the, the addresses are going to go there, so maybe just do some designs in the corner. Gives a little hint of what's inside the card. Okay, I think, yeah, so maybe just a... A rose. A rose. Yep. Lovely. I'll try and do these identical so there's no I know. jealousy. I know. Between the two mothers. <laughs> there we go. So there's rose. Mm-hmm. And then a bit of that. Mm-hmm. You definitely might need the moss. Oh, I've just chucked it away because I've got glue on it. Right, Tuck it in tight because I um, don't want half a stem. No, come a bit closer. don't want half a stem. Look at that. Look at you. Yeah. Just stamping twice. See, getting there. Look at that. Love my own channel soon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And a thistly. 
this. Yeah. And then maybe we could do a butterfly on the back. So I want to keep this close as well, don't I? Mm. Maybe a little bit of a spl splats along the bottom, maybe. Mr. Artful Stamping. <laughs> dot com. Uh, Denise says, Oh, that's awesome, Tom. Now teach my hobby, lol. Well, I think what might look pretty is if you just do a stamp of the green splatters, one there and one there, the, splat, the green splatters. Do one there and one there. Is that the official name, green splatters? Is it uh, <laughs> on this? On there, on yeah. There. Well, you, you're splatters and you're using green. So. Yeah, yeah. They're not always green. They're whatever colour you want to be. <laughs> just, just imagine saying to my mum, I've sent you a card. It's got green splatters. It's got green splatters on the back. <laughs> uh, uh, right. right. And then maybe a blue, then a butterfly, blue butterfly, butterfly in the middle. I'll just tell her about the butterfly. Yeah, look out for the butterfly. Got to make sure we post these so that they get down time. We can send her the link to this video afterwards. Yeah. So, hi Mary, if you're watching. <laughs> so is that, that's that. There we go. Where are your cards gone? Wow. Where have you lost where, them where already? Where have your cards gone? <laughs> there. Oh, okay. So there's, there's one. There we go. There's the other. Very Look nice. That. It looks all right, doesn't it? Beautiful. Do you want a little bit of glitter on your butterflies? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Sparkle. Uh, I've got a can pen, do. A yeah. Let's let's go for it. Let's let's go for it. Maybe a bit of the wink of Stella. A bit of wink. So this is wink of Stella, which is just a pen that a little bit of glitter. A bit of a squeeze. I think it's coming to the end of its life. Yeah. So just do it on the butterflies. Look at that. Lovely. It has got a bit on, I promise. See it more on that, I think. Mm. Do that. Oh, yeah. There we go. Gorge. Very pretty. I love how you get the variation in colour using the custom ink pad. So pretty. And it's the sort of thing that people look at and go, how did you do that with a stamp? I mean, the other way to get this effect is to just colour it in with a pen, but I don't think you can get that slow gradation of colour by colouring in. Um, so there we go. Right, everybody. Fantastic. You've been you've been broadcasting you. live for 40 minutes. Wow. Well done. That's a long time, isn't it? It is a long time, yeah. Wow. They'll be proud, especially that he made them. Oh. Thank you, yes. I'll have to let my That's mother good. know. Right, thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you for watching this on the replay, if you've watched it. Um, I will blog about these eventually, obviously. It's Mother's Day in the UK on Sunday, so uh, I'll blog about it next week. 
So, um, oh, hi, Joy, welcome. Uh, you'll have to watch the replay now. So take care, everybody. Thank you. Say bye. Bye. bye